Hello all and welcome to a video where we will explore the features of eSign dashboard for organizations. The signatory has to open the link emailed by eMudra's team after successful enrollment. On clicking this link, the login page will open where the user has to fill in their desired username and PIN. Now click on Get OTP to receive the login OTP. Once the OTP is filled in, click on Sign In. The user will now be navigated to eSign dashboard. On the left hand side of the dashboard, there are various functions offered by eSign's login. Click on New KYC account to send the enrollment request to other employees. Once a page opens, click on Copy URL and send the link to the users who need to enroll for signatory approval. An email would then be sent to the employee and they can enroll as instructed. The Manage KYC account keeps a tab on all the users who have enrolled along with their summaries. The user can click on View and see the enroller's information. Clicking on View helps the user access a quick action tab where they can change the unit organization of the enroller, assign license, and issue DSE accordingly. Next is the process pending KYC, where the user can approve other enrollers. They can click on Approve to approve individual enrollers or click on Approve Bulk to approve every enrollment on the list. The dashboard also has the option to search a particular enroller. Manage Organization section helps a user to create organizations or departments under which other users can enroll as users or authorized signatories. Click on Create Organization Unit, type the department or organization to be added and click on Save. This will create a new organization unit and users can start enrolling under the particular organization. In the Authorized Signatory section, click on Create Authorized Signatory. Then click on Copy URL to send the link to the particular employee for enrolling. License Management section helps the user to buy as well as keep the track of licenses. If the user wants to buy a license, click on Buy License. Select the license type and click on Submit. After that, the payment page will open where the user can purchase the license through the payment options provided by eMudra. To keep track on the purchase licenses, click on Current License to see the currently used licenses. To view the type of license types and request IDs, the user needs to click on License Requests. The unassigned requests and assigned requests are under the unassigned and assigned tabs respectively. The user will now have access to the transaction histories. They can acquire it through clicking on invoice history and download the invoice. Under reports, there are three options available. Transaction MIS report, eSign allocation report, and DSE report. The transaction MIS report helps in understanding the transactions in the organization unit and their status. The eSign allocation report tells the status of the eSign assigned plan name, assigned on, and assigned to. The DSE report section helps a user track the DSE requests that have been issued, approved, or pending. Now, My Profile shows the user's profile summary. Under Quick Tabs, the user can see the option to change the PIN, and user can change it whenever required. This process will require both mobile OTP and email OTP. Once the credentials are filled in, click on Submit to change the PIN. Lastly, the logout button locks the user out and navigates them back to the main page. This completes the overview of eSign dashboard. Thank you for watching this video.